everyone, what's up? This is Simon from uh, DevTactic and the Ionic Academy. So today in this video, I will show you how to um, create a component that you can use for many use cases. So sometimes you have a list that you want to scroll vertical, but at the same time also some items on a horizontal uh, way. And therefore we will build an expandable component with different categories uh, using the Ionic slides to um, open different categories, um, slide items inside the categories, and finally also add the items to a little card uh, that we keep in the background. So perhaps this could be the start of your next shopping app or whatever. Let's dive into it. I've started a blank new Ionic project and currently I'm using the beta 7, I think. Uh, let me look it up. Uh, yes, the beta 7. So at the time when this video is published, you will be a few versions later. Perhaps some things have changed, so keep this in mind. Anyway, I started with a blank app and of course the type Angular. And the first thing we're going to do is Ionic generate page card, um, which will be the card, uh, the shopping card with the items the user has added. And also a service uh, called card, which keeps track of the elements that we have added. So I will use some basic uh, dummy data for this. And of course we can run Ionic Surf. Okay, so here's my data. Um, normally, of course, you would get some sort of API response, but it might look something like this, an array of different categories that have different items, products, whatever. Um, of course, you can change this to your case. Uh, to the first item I added expanded true and I will see later why this is useful. And as you can see, just a few more categories with some dummy names, price, ID, um, something you could have from your own backend, of course. Okay, there's the app. A bit small. Ah, now it looks good. All right. So, as I said, this is um, our card service. And of course, the card service should keep track of the items that are currently added to the card. And to finish this up, it's a real uh, simple service. We just add a few functions to get the products, which is our data, or in your case, the API response, the card, which keeps track of the added items, and of course, a function to add items. And I'll leave uh, the clear card or remove item function up to you. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can implement this on your own. So let's continue with our homepage. Um, the home page also has the cart and the items and those will be used from our service. So let's say this one implements on init and then uh, we might need a constructor uh, which needs of course our private cart service, cart service and also the router. So we can um, use the standard Angular router uh, to navigate to the next page in our app. And we haven't implemented the ng on init. That's why it's complaining. So now we got it and we can set our own card to the card service get card and all the changes will be reflected on our page uh, from the card service as well if we change items there. So let's get the products and then we got an array of items. Now, the interesting thing we need is a slider configuration. So we will use inside our view, um, of course, not this. Um, let's call this Ionic Shopping. Um, somewhere inside this view, we will use Ion Slides. And for Ion Slides, you can specify some options um, and therefore we will use our slider config okay and this slider slider config um, will help us to um, get the right look of our pages because if you um, use it without any special things you will have one item per page and you can skip to it but you want to see um, a little 
uh, additional element at the side. Perhaps I will just leave it out and show you what's wrong with it um, without the configuration. So um, let's add two more functions. So we want to be able to add a product and therefore we can call the card service add product which will add our product and finally we want to open the card uh, in which we can now use the router to navigate um, to a new URL and in our case we want to go uh, to card because we've added the card page and if you know already about the Angular routing uh, with Ionic 4 this is not new to you but uh, let's show Inside the app routing, we got the path um, of card added automatically after we edit the page. So we can now reach it right here. And that's the value we will use here. So now we got the items and let's see how we can build our ion slides. So first of all, um, ion slides consist of slides. Um, but the different categories will be an ion slides element each. So we will have to use an ng4 above the ion slides. So therefore ng4 let category of items and we will also give this a class. So this is a category block. Uh, we will see later why. So now we got the loop in place. And first thing we're gonna do is add an ion row. Uh, let's say without any padding and class is the category banner. So this row um, is just for one simple uh, use case here. So we have a little header that we can touch that will then expand the whole category. So let's do this button. Uh, I'm not sure if we need button and tappable, but Let's do it like this. And then inside the click event, we can use the function right here. So expand it to not expand it. Okay, so there we go. Um, I think we should also already add a line self center. So this will center the column. And inside we simply, oops, Inside, we simply get cat.category. Um, ion row, ion slides. Okay, so let's see what happens now. Uh, card service is not a function. Um, what exactly is not a function? Get products, get card. I'm sorry. Homepage 22. Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna restart. Um, not sure what's wrong because get card definitely returns the card, so uh, must be something else in there. Anyway, let's continue um, with the home page and let's format it a bit. So we got the row um, and then we got the ion slides, and inside the ion slides we have ion slide elements, um, which are basically the products of a category. So product of cat.products. Okay, and in here we have um, whatever, something. Let's just do it like this. So now you can see we got pizza, pasta, salad. Um, we can actually touch the headers. Um, and you see we even got multiple objects in here, but it doesn't really look like what we want to have. So let's change this to an ion card and I'll bring in the syntax for now. So it's just an ion card. The title is the product name and the price. And then inside the content, we got a little placeholder image and the button to add this to our card. Now, if we look at the result, um, it looks a bit better, I would say. But the problem is still, if you look at this page, you don't see that there is a new card coming. So it would be pretty cool if it would look like this more or less. And therefore, we can now use our slider config. 
And what we're going to say is uh, space between, uh, let's make this 10 centered slides true and then slides per view. And this is the interesting part because you can add a number like this and the result is Let's wait, ta da da da. You see, now we don't have one card per slide, but the cutout area from the next card. And because we set centered slides, um, you see, it will automatically center one slide without any additional CSS. So this works pretty nice so far. Okay, but of course, it's not yet here, we can expand, but nothing really happens. So we can use the expanded of the category on our, um, where should we do it? Um, I think we do it in here. Um, and this means we will only show the card if the category is expanded. So let's refresh and then we see uh, we actually set the first to be expanded in the beginning and we can already open and close the categories, do still the same things like we did before. Now we just need a bit more of CSS. Um, so let me bring this CSS in. Okay, um, Ion Batch, we will talk about this in a second. But basically we got the category block, which is uh, the header row and the banner. So a little border left, background, hate, padding, just stuff like this. And suddenly it looks like this. Okay, so a lot better, I think. Um, I, also, we forgot the category block. Okay, misspelling, but now, yes, that's what I was looking for. So now everything looks a lot nicer and still the same like before just a bit more CSS uh, the categories look really great we can slide through them we can add to cart um, but we obviously don't see any card items so therefore let's also add a little button right here ion buttons slot and and then ion button uh, and on click we will open the cart and inside uh, we have an ion icon uh, named card slot icon only. But at the same time, we can also use an ion batch in here. So uh, let's say ng if um, card dot length is bigger than zero, then we will display a batch with the length of our card. So save again, and then we see in the beginning no items added, but once we start to add items, the batch count goes up and normally the batch would be at a different position. So therefore we used some additional CSS to make it look like this. And we can add many more from all the different categories. Sometimes it's a bit hard um, to touch it in here or the preview has some problems, but on a device, this actually works a lot better. All right, um, we're almost finished. So we just need our card display um, because this is not anymore the main focus of the um, dynamic slides. I will do this a bit faster and to keep the video as short as possible for you. Um, we go to the card page at the card service and on in it um, we have some selected items and a total value and on in it we will do this. We will first of all grab the whole card then we construct an object in which we push either um, a new object or the object from our card, which has a name, ID and image or a price, a name, ID and price and a count of one. And if this is already inside our map, we will simply add one item to the count. Of course, you could have some other logic inside the card service. So whenever you add new products, um, the count automatically goes up or things like this. But 
um, this is also a way to do it. So then our selected items um, can be simply the keys of this map and then the whole object with a count. So um, perhaps I'll add a lock for you in here. Items, this selected items to show you how it looks in the end. And the total is simply a calculation um, on the selected items where we can use a reduce function starting value of zero and then always the first plus uh, the count uh, in combination with a price to get the value of one position. Okay, I hope this is clear. Um, just some basic math, TypeScript, uh, things, whatever. So let's finish my card. And because we pushed this page, we should have a way to navigate back. So ion back button. Uh, and the default href could be our uh, starting page. So that's everything we need in here. And then uh, let's remove the padding and ion list, ion item, ng4, uh, let item of selected items. And perhaps we want to display some lines inside so add lines inset or full is the other one i think and i don't want to destroy it so uh, let me get this in <clears throat> you basically have the count for an item which is calculated inside the typescript file then the name and then the price with the currency pipe of angular so standard things and in the end each position is again displayed as the whole and beneath the total value. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, um, of course the card is empty, total zero. So let's go back and I think there's something wrong. Okay, yes. Slot should be start, of course. So now let's add some items. Nice salami, tuna I don't like. Um, anyway, let's add a few of them and some more of this if i could edit um not sure what's wrong right now why i can't add them uh, sometimes the preview uh, function is not that good so let's just add a few here and there and then we continue to the card and we see uh, the selection we have the total price for each position and the final price uh, it should be right yes definitely and also um, the array we constructed looks like this. Uh, and you see for mac and cheese, the count was increased to four. So we can easily display it here and calculate the value there. All right, so that's the whole magic behind displaying this expandable list component, um, sliding views, centered slides. Um, make sure um, to try out different values to fit your case. There are really a lot of options and of course you can also use additional CSS to position them, but it works pretty good um, if you just rely on the slider configuration. Um, besides that, of course, the card logic is super dummy. Uh, in your case, you would have more advanced add logic and also something to remove items from the card again, but of course, there needs to be some task for um, the reader or listener or watcher or the viewer of this tutorial. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel below this video and also check out the ionicacademy.com, which is my own um, school to help you learn Ionic in the fastest and best possible way with courses, a community, a private Slack channel, and all the resources you need to go from zero to your finished Ionic app. So I hope to see you inside the Academy, inside the channel, inside the next video, and have a great day.